Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about perpetuity versus growing perpetuity. A perpetuity is a constant stream of cash flows that goes on forever. An example can be preferred stocks that pay dividend forever unless there is a retirement date for the stocks. Present value of a perpetuity equals cash flows divided by interest rate. So to calculate the present value of a preferred stock that pays $1,000 dividend each period, and with the assumption that the interest rate is 6%, we can divide $1,000 dividend by 6% interest rate, and we get the total present value of the stock today. Now let's move to growing perpetuity. A growing perpetuity is a cash flow stream that grow at a constant rate forever. An example can be dividends that grow at a constant rate. For example, if the growth rate is 5% and if the first cash flow is $100, cash flow 1, which is one period after cash flow 0, can be calculated as cash flow 0 times 1 plus g, or growth rate, 100 times 1 plus 5%, and we get $105. Cash flow 2 will be cash flow 1 times 1 plus g. Cash flow 3 will be cash flow 2 times 1 plus g, and so on and so forth. To calculate the present value of a growing perpetuity today, or at time t equals 0, we divide the cash flow in time t equals 1, or cash flow in period 1, by the difference between interest rate and growth rate. Cash flow 1 equals cash flow 0, or cash flow in time t equals 0, multiplied by 1 plus growth rate. If a company pays $45 dividend today, interest rate or weighted average cost of capital is 9% and growth rate is 5%, what's the value of the company's stock now? Note, we are solving this question based on dividend discount model, which calculates the value of a company's stock based on the sum of all of its future dividend payments discounted back to the present time. So here's the formula. We don't have cash flow 1, but we have cash flow 0, which is $45, and we can calculate cash flow 1 based on that. Dividend paid today or now refers to cash flow 0, which is $45. So we can calculate cash flow 1, which is paid one period after cash flow 0. Cash flow 1 equals cash flow 0 times 1 plus g, which is 5% here. And we get cash flow 1. Now we have all of the numbers, and we can put them in the formula. Present value equals cash flow 1 divided by 9%, which is interest rate minus 5%, which is growth rate. And we get the present value today. Thank you.